yo, what's going on? It's your boy Beam, and today we got one of them bangers. If y'all don't know what time it is, it is one of them today. I've been gone for two weeks, but this is the official anniversary of my YouTube channel. We've been standing strong for five years now. I want everybody in that comment section to go up. Hashtag TBT in that comment section. Y'all know what time it is. Brah! So to kick this video off, I'll go in with a number two guard using my Andy ZR2s. I'm using the number two detachable blade. The number two detachable blade is a tad bit shorter than the number two plastic guard. It's really like doing a one and three fourths opposed to a one and a half. It just give it that tad bit, you know, darker shade of hair that I'm looking for. But I'm cutting everything with the grain. I'm keeping everything consistent. You getting consistent strokes through and through. You don't want to skim this hair. You don't want to nick this hair. You you need this hair laid down and you need it prepped for the next step that's important when we get in these haircuts or these big wolves you need to maintain this hair keep everything consistent and do not patch this hair We go in using that gold FX and I'm giving myself about an inch and a half guideline due to the amount of area that I have. I'll go in completely open with my Andes Masters and blow another inch panel out. I'm just setting myself up for a nice taper. Brush one fade one, keep everything consistent and keep the head uniform. I go in halfway with my one eighth guard and I'm going to debulk this. And the reason I went in halfway with a one eighth guard, which is a number one guard, opposed to completely open, is because I cut his hair with a number two detachable blade, which is closer to that one and three fourths. So I don't really have to go open and waste that time in terms of fading. Everything with me is about eliminating, you know, steps and adding new techniques to what I got going on just so I can achieve that look perfectly. It's all about being in your bag. It's all about remaining humble, staying grounded, and producing that crack. As long as you can comprehend it, you can dish it. Let's get it. Then I go in with my babeless halfway clothes and I'm slowly but surely adjusting this as I go up into it. I kind of wanted to use my babeless because my babeless FX's get real close to my FX trimmers just to knock that ball line out. After this clip, I will shift to my Andis Masters and just use the corner of my blade to bring my fade all the way together. And right here, as you guys can see, I'm using my Andis Master and I'm bringing it all together. That's what it's about in this industry. If you're not willing to, you know, push yourself beyond that level, question what you're doing. Like, I'm here to shape shift. I'm here to take it to the next level. That's my whole definition of taking every haircut to the next level. It's shape shift. And if you can't keep up, then it's not for you. It's that simple. It's click cut. So I go in, I just tap up some of the middle right here using the corner of my blade. He had a couple dry spots in the back, but that's okay. I go in using the corner of my gold FX trimmers, and I'm just trimming this out. I kind of want to arc it and give it a circular motion. Then I go up about a half of an inch using my Andis Masters, repeating them steps. And then I'll go in using my one eighth guard, which is my number one guard, about halfway like I did in the back. And as you guys can see, I'm already blended out in this corner. You got to know, you know, your techniques. You got to know your system. That is so important. If you don't invest in in the system you will not be able to consistently you know put the pressure out at a consistent rate i'm dropping these off 30 for 30 like when i'm in the shop i'm 30 minute gang 
Like, they 30 for 30s in the shop. I'm going, like, for 30 minutes. That's the easiest part about my job. I tell you guys every time, I literally work off three things. Three things. I develop my system, which is one. I stay consistent, which is two. And I consistently put shots up. That's three. You take that equation. That is your Y equals MX plus B equation for dishing the gas. You got to have all three of them. Don't skip a technique or don't skip a step, you know, trying to get that quicker. Because when you do that, that's when you shoot yourself in the foot. Remember, stay consistent and it's going to play out. keeping everything consistent i'm starting to clean up some of the hair around the beer area just so i can break into my faded beer and i'm just basically fading into the top area of the beer fading into the bottom part of the side taper keeping everything consistent you want that flow you need that dark to light to dark again so once you put a line on the the level of transition stands out so much more and it's that much more in depth it's almost looked like it's 3d or the haircut almost looked fake um due to that and that's just something that I learned over the years like I used to do like regular tapers my tapers used to be lower and that's just with eliminate you know you know uh, pointless techniques I used to do a lot of pointless techniques I used to be cutting hair for like 45 minutes to an hour because I was capping myself off with all of these unnecessary techniques I could have been bend and broke my time in half and now because I broke my time in half that's something that I focus on all day consistently putting my shots up and getting people in and out in that 30 minute fast you make way more money you know you cut way more hair and at the same time you getting your shots you winning on all threes and at the, let's add another one a client is getting out in an efficient time clients who can get banging haircuts in 30 minutes or less come on man that's a given it's a everybody win situation right there really focus on your craft focus on yourself tune in to yourself that's one of the most important things i tell people all the time tune in to yourself only the person that's standing behind that check can change their outcome which is you only you can change your outcome only you can change your finishes only you can change how much money you make only you can change how time efficient you are lock in and tune in to yourself and i promise you you're gonna score all year round Brah! just using some of my heel action right here using the corner of my blade getting everything consistent i need this tape as late as possible and as you guys can see i brush after every time i hit this hair brushing the hair is consistently laying this hair down and it's training this hair it's making this hair look better if you cut somebody hair and didn't brush at all after you faded or you flicked out in the area the hair will not be as consistent and it will not look nowhere near as laid brushing the hair is so important guys like i need y'all to focus up on that if you not brushing this hair while fading it what are we doing here like what are we doing in 2020 i need everybody to focus up we so much in the advanced realm and we taking this barbering thing to a whole different level like i'm gonna be so innovative like coming up soon i got some some things that i'm definitely working on and i'm just been getting my mind right and i'm staying sharp and i need y'all to do the same thing like i took off two weeks for a reason when it's personal i gotta step back you know i gotta readjust my clock and you know i gotta get my mind right that 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 happens a lot but i need y'all at the end of the day to know that when it come to dishing gas beam not gonna stop that y'all never gonna lose that from me no matter how long it take for me to drop a video every video that i drop will bang like it don't matter i'm gonna give y'all gas non-stop i'm different i'm cut different i've been in my bag since day one so I go in using spritz and I'm just basically hitting all of the hair, getting everything consistent. Then I go in with my gold FX's in the back of the beard, creating my straight about. I need to go ahead and bang the frame of this thing out. When I'm cutting hair, I'm framing everything out. I got like, you know, reference points for me to set myself up. So as you guys can see me doing a straight line in the back, now I only got the curve of the beard to do, but I can almost see it because I have its foundation in the back in terms of how wide of the beard. Then I'll start in the back doing my curves and once i get to the tip of the ear i'll transfer to the corner of my blade to work my way around that ear and as you guys can see ice trader like i'm getting my boy in a game it's slowly but surely happening and it's it's, it's it's finna get ugly so just lock in with me just focus up i go in and i'm just using slight taps and once i get to the tip of the ear i'll fold the ear down and then i'm just gonna work my way right around that corner
keep everything consistent Doing my straight about Getting everything consistent to match the other side That's always important It's just like finding common denominators Whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top And in reference to the line And whatever you do to one side, you do to the other That's how you create symmetricalness That's how you keep yourself in boundaries And that's how you create precision So I start in the middle and I just work my way to the left Seeing my client got some light spots, some overhang With this lineup at times And the way my client is sitting his head It can look like it's crooked But this lining is gonna be super perfect It's actually one of my favorite lineups to do So once I go in and I just make my way all the way to the left I'll flip into my vertical bar area And then I'll just make sure I got a nice 90 degree on this angle Before I go into any other places of my lining Then I go back to the middle And I work my way from the middle to the right the same way I just work my way from middle to the left. Everything is about consistency. It's about reps. We hit a cash out. It's y'all know what time it is. Like we've been locked in. It's 2020 is year to shapeshifters. And literally, when it come to this waving thing, like when it come to this waving thing for real, when it come to these lineups. This is why I like doing the wave of haircuts. Like, I'm able to install a certain type of confidence in somebody who tied a do-rag down for three to four months. It's literally one of my favorite things. It's super soothing to me to cut this much hair. So I just want y'all to understand, like, I really, 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 really just like cutting a wave of hair because just because they hazardous in the beginning. I like changing people's lives. When you watch my intro, my intro say impacting lives one haircut at a time. And that's my objective. My objective is to push my my pen my objective is to take it to another level and as you guys can see pro tip pro move right there i put my comb towards the bottom of that c curve that i did then i brung it to this side created an indentation and then from this point on i'll clean up my chicago c just so i can have consistent curves on both sides Everything is about consistency and remember everything is about reps and when you want to learn them Chicago C's That's one of the fanciest techniques So I go in with using my boy Sean Cuts Hair Enhancement Color Car And then I go in using the Beam Team Coilless Compressor XL And assisting it with no drip These three, man, that's like a trifecta This LeBron, D-Wade, and Chris Bosh in 2012 Like these is just wild right here They create that, you know, that element But some will say like, why put color? Color on the area that you chop down some would have just left his hair darker that's not the case not everybody want the tip of their hair or around a line and to be the length of a number two you might have to knock it to like a one or lower than a one and then add color to it that's the whole point of finessing it and using color enhancements because just because the hair is is dark or possesses that dark look don't mean the client want you know the edges of their hair that thick or that long because within two to three weeks their hair is gonna be wow you know in terms of the dude rag and trying to lay it down so it's just you know eliminating steps but i'm going in using my barber magic pencil as if women would use you know concealer for their eyebrows i just go in and i just conceal my lineup then i come behind it using my gold fx's and i clean it up all because my client is more like light skinned i use the yellowish pen so you can't really see it stick out like that but you can see it to some type of sense when i do my razor work you'll be able to really see me like move a lot of the pencil i'm just keeping everything consistent staying on the edges of my my trimmer and keeping everything consistent as you guys can see this thing coming out fire as you guys can see duffel like gas go in tapping the bottom of the mustache and I go in and hit the top of the mustache this is something I'm trying to you know put more into my clips or uh, more like the full beard work into all of like my clips I'm getting my angles a little bit better so I'm able to capture you know everything in terms of the haircut I lean my client back angle my razor at a 45 degree angle stretch the skin and I start to create my curve due to my foundation and my line in the back I know how far to bring the top line because my client want to keep the line as wide as possible but at the same time he wanted curved and he wanted crispy and clean so we go in using a whisk and we'll dust everything off just because the first time you do something don't mean it's done i want y'all to understand and know that that's the attention to detail look at a lot of barbers watch how many times they lap things and then go behind it maybe once or twice
Like lap something one time and then go behind it two or three more times. Watch how much more cleaner it is. It's little and simple things like that that could separate you, you know, from everybody in your city. My attention to detail was literally next to none on this YouTube thing. I'm in that duffel. I got that Tune 45 triple cartridge kicked up. I'm stretching the skin and I got the backstroke going. Like that's what it's about. It's about implementing different techniques in different situations throughout different parts of the haircut. I've been locked. Glacier. As you guys can see, I'm doing the same thing, stretching the skin, angling that razor at a 45 degree angle, bringing everything back to that line, slowly but surely, and as you guys can see, I can see the, the line is kind of rigid, which is why I'll go in and I'll dust it off, because the first time you lap some is not it, you gotta go back again, stretch the skin, angle the razor at a 45 degree angle, bring everything back to the line, and you will be able to get the client as crispy as possible, when it comes to symmetricalness, and I, don't, and I know that's not even a Word. When it come to being symmetrical, baggy. Like y'all know what time it is. Being been focused. I've been gone for two weeks, so I got a little bit more excitement. But y'all know how it is. It's 2020 is year shapeshifters. Like I'm gonna be in my duffel regardless. Like I stated it multiple times. Like I went to barber college. I got all of that knocked out, but I'm bred from the porch. Like I remember how it was to start it from being on the porch to not being in the shop. Like 16 years later, I'm 25 years old and I done turned this thing into something completely different. Like I done shaped in my game into something different. I'm just proud of myself and for it to be our fifth year anniversary, like this is just amazing. So to everybody that's been subscribed to me since day one and picked up during the journey, I appreciate you guys so much. Then I go in and I do one of the most important parts about a wave of haircuts. You go in, you clean up all of the scraggly legs, all of the loose hairs on top. With wavers, you want to lay all of the hair down. You want the hair to look completely laid. You need the taper to be up to part of line and clean. You execution style. Like this is what I'm talking about when I say real distinguished or a high gentleman, high class look. This is what I'm talking about right here. So in the imperfect world, we do get these clients that hold it down for us for three months, but as barbers, it's up to us to change that outcome, and y'all know how we give it up. Let's lock in. Hashtag TBT in that comment section. Hashtag five-year anniversary. Y'all know hashtag Glacier Gang. It's 2020 is year to shape shifters. Let's lock in. Let's focus up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to get alerted when these videos come out. I've been applying pressure since I started, and I won't stop. Shout out to my boy Jerem Booming for producing an amazing beat today for the five year anniversary. Shout out to my boy Deuce FX for influencing some of the commentary in this video. And shout out to all of the subscribers that been with me day one and that's picking up with me during my journey. I love all you guys and until next time. And may God bless. You.